Hello? Hi, Miss Parker. I'm just calling you to let you know that your son got suspended today because he was fighting. What happened? Your son got suspended okay. today. Thank you. This little boy get suspended from school again. Jesus Christ, I never do this little boy. Watch when him come home. Watch when him come in. Little like, boy, why you keep on embarrass me? Eh? I want me to do to you so. One thing you have to do, I have to go to school and learn. You not do it. I send you to school if you get in a reading. If you get in a reading. Oh, somebody forget to read if you're in a reading. Eh? I tell you, you know, once you can master reading, you can master everything. You not do no work in a school. I be a fighting you and fight. What is your problem? Look how hard your mother has to work. Look how hard me have to work. I work hard for you everything what you need. And I be embarrassed, you embarrass me. You forever embarrass me. Mom, you see how you're talking to me? Mom, look at how you're talking to me. When was the last time you asked me as your son? How am I doing? Every day, you just get up, you go to work. You don't even tell me that you love me. You don't even show me that you love me. Look at how you talk to me. You talk to me like this every single day. Like, I don't understand. Like, you just talk to your son in such a way like, you talk to me like you hate me. I never know, say. You know what all of them suck me here, yeah, I got you. You talk to me like I'm the worst thing that ever happened to you in your life. This is how you speak to me. This is how you talk to me, mom. When was the last time you say to me, oh, do you have homework? Let me help you with your homework. When was the last time you say that to me? And that's that, I never know. You know, I always tell myself, you know, I just want for the right by my child. I just want to provide. My mom, it's just always, it was, it's just always about you, what you're doing for me, what you're doing for me, what you're doing for me. Like, I just feel like I'm a burden. I just feel like, I guess, you know, somewhere down the line, my son, I kind of find myself struggling, struggling in a sense where, you know, you try to perfect certain areas, certain areas in your life and you neglect certain areas because me, I was trying to focus on mostly providing fear, providing that roof over your head, making sure you have a roof over your head, making sure that so every time when you ask me for a new suit or clothes and new shoes, I can provide it for you to the point where I neglect your feelings. This is how I feel every day. Like, I just feel like I'm just burdening you. I'm just a bother to you. You keep on bringing up how hard you have to work for me, how hard you have to do things for me. You don't even show me love. When you get your days off, you, when you get your days off or your vacation, you go on vacation with your friends. You don't even pay me any attention. You leave me here for like a whole week while you're in Barbados with your friend, just, j just having fun. And I don't have a problem with that. You can go ahead and have fun friend have fun with your friends but at least you can save one day out of your vacation to say okay my son let's go for a walk and my son like i trying to know like um i trying to know how you make me feel right now you understand me as you know what i'm saying like see where i'm coming from i'm angry every single day i don't get time to spend with my mom i don't know who my dad is i've never been introduced to him i don't even know what the man looks like and i asked you about him and then you told me oh now nah, ask me nothing now nah, ask me nothing about the man me no know nothing that's all you say every day but me gonna put my feelings aside i make a try my best make a call him make a call um you know, make a say if your mother still live the same place and try to get a hold of him. Make a try for you, for you. You understand? I never know you are hurt. And it hurt me for no say, me I hurt you. It hurt me for no say, me I hurt you, my son. Oh, Jesus. Mom, 
I just want you to see me. I just want you to love me. Like, stop. I don't like the way you talk to me. I'm not saying that you have to change yourself and, you know, be Canadian all of a sudden. But, you know, just tone it down a little bit the way you talk to me. Like, you, have you ever noticed the names that you call me, mom? Like, when you talk about my grades, you say, oh, you're so dumb. You're so stupid. You don't have no sense. What kind of grade them you You don't see your dons. I'm sorry. I am so sorry, son. So when people call me illiterate at school, this is why I go off because I can't punch you. I am so sorry. I never know say that I got you all of them so me. Mom, just listen to me. Like I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm really and truly hurting, mom. Like I need my mother. I need my mom. I am hurting. I am hurting, mom. Like I'm really hurting and I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, because you know, I was just wondering, you know, me I say I am doing my best, and you know, my kind of make it seem like it's all about me instead of showing that love to you and that compassion to you, instead of like talking to you as a mother, you understand. And you know, me I gotta try my best. Come here, come here, me I gotta try my best. Make you know, um, and let's build our family altar soon. Let's pray every single night. Let's just go before God and just ask God for help us. You understand? Like, you know, I'm just so sorry. All this time, I just feel say you just never want to do your work. You know, you just, you know, and I never ever spend time for asking you, how are you doing? How you feel? You know, I'm just so sorry. Make a try my best for finding your father. Make a try my best to find your father. You understand? Honestly, I just don't want to talk about it because I was hurt. But I've never considered your feelings and how you feel about your father not being around. You know, I got pregnant for him. You know, we're in a relationship. I got pregnant for him. And the moment I tell him that I was pregnant, he just didn't want anything to do with me. So there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. <laughs>